Gustav is a notorious beast that comes from Burundi in Africa. This monster is thought to have killed as many as 300 people. The incidents have allegedly occurred from the banks of the Ruzizi River to the north shore of Lake Tanganyika. The actual number of fatalities has been difficult to verify, but that man-eater rep has given Gustav near mythical status. It's said to weigh over a ton, and some estimates claim Gustav is some 25 feet long. Okay, 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 so here's the thing. <laughs> I am, I am a big animal lover. I'm a big animal advocate. I don't want to harm animal. I won't do anything like that. However, yes. there is a line <laughs> where it's like, if you literally have one freaking whatever this creature is killing 300, 300. people, like we, he needs to be stopped. We might need to do something about like, that, guys. We don't guys. have to kill him, but we can capture like we him. Like we yeah, it's like do something. I like you how know? We're like we can do it. No. Oh like, no! Hell, hell no, dude! I'm not getting near that guy. That thing, 25 feet long, Lindsay. That is also, a big creature. They named him Gustav. Like it's such a like it's, his name doesn't match what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, yeah. You like know? you're literally a serial killer. He's dude. a serial killer, and his name is Gustav. Wow. He needs something like harder. Like, I don't know. Yo, that would actually make for an exceptional adult animated comedy. Oh, I thought you were gonna a say serial killer, movie. like, alligator named Gustav, like, <laughs> just chilling in the swamp, murdering people. Like, I feel like he's like, it's me, Gustav. Gustav. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. An all-time alligator. Reeling in a big catch like this was a family affair, taking five members of the Stokes family more than five hours to capture the scary big gator. After the family won that battle, they were still faced with the chore of lugging the Whoa. conquest back to shore. It was so massive that it destroyed the winch system normally used by biologists from Alabama wildlife and freshwater fisheries. A park backhoe had to be called in to assist to lift the creature, and its weight was confirmed at 1,011.5 five pounds with wow. a length of 15 feet nine inches breaking a world record for length bro that's a big boy right Kevin there and gustav need to go face to face a little one-on-one -on -one? yeah who do you have i was gonna say this guy's bigger no i think he well i think that he weighs a little bit more i don't know if he's got the length i don't know man it'd be very close this family needs to go and try and capture capture gustav, gustav and like <laughs> pit them up yeah Wow! Damn, okay, I, I will admit, I would not want to come face to face with that thing. No. No, no thank you. Dave Harold, a catfish angler in Oklahoma, reeled in something that looked like a prehistoric turtle. It was actually a rare alligator snapping turtle, known as one of the heaviest freshwater turtles in the world. This one was thought to weigh around 100 pounds, but that wasn't verified. These animals have been known to tip the scales at over 200 pounds, though. From the picture, it's tough to tell which looks more scared, the fisherman or the massive turtle. After taking the selfie, Mr. Harrell released the animal unharmed back to the water. Oh, I kind of love him, though, you know? Like, he is, he's definitely got some scary features, yeah. but like, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he is a little cute. You know? Like, look at his What did he say? He was a cross between a crocodile it was a, or an alligator? One of the two, like, uh, like a snapping turtle. And he Oof. does kind of look like it, too. Like, he, True. Like, yeah. I will admit, like, this is the closest real life thing I've ever seen to Bowser in my <laughs> You know, like, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. But also, Gustav is getting freaky with the turtle. Oh, oh <laughs> man. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Lizard Fight Club. Ooh. Two monitor lizards were caught in a scary life and death struggle in the middle of a dusty street. Their struggle was filmed by a passerby on and it went on for too. nearly mm, three minutes. Naturally. The two reptiles grappled oh, with each other, oblivious to the huge buses and motorbikes that constantly rolled right past them. Monitor lizards are known to stand on the hind legs and fight over food or females. We're not exactly sure where this action took place, but the footage is thought to be from Sri Lanka. The clip ends with the two animals still going at it. I wanted to hmm. see the clip though. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see them, them battle, it. right? Uh, Does that make us bad people? Maybe. Maybe. But also, aren't they, are those Komodo dragons? It looks like it, but it never said No, it. no, I think those are like tinier little oh. dudes. Like if we, if they were big, Mono dragons, like that's like that is definitely scary. I don't know. I thought those ones were cute. The little blue. Tiles. Yeah, like I thought those. You know, like I'd be okay coming face to face with like one of them. There was like four or five, and be no. like, ooh, Not damn, at all. yeah, I cannot be handling that. The human Z. This is some oh. Planet of the Apes oh. stuff right here. The human Z is a combination of urban yeah. legend and conspiracy theories. While there is no official evidence, there have been rumors about humans breeding with chimpanzees oh. for decades. Oh. Humans share 99% of their DNA with chimpanzees, making them their closest living relative. 
Speaking of humanities, often centers around claims from evolutionary psychologist Gordon Gallup, who claimed that hybridization attempts were happening in labs during the early part of the 20th century. A uh, human Z. Hmm. But, like, there are scientists in Japan that are mixing our DNA. Like, like you know, actually, that's actually, going on? Actually, yeah. So. Uh, I feel like I ran into a few human Z's at the club last night. <laughs> 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 that's bad. Oh, yeah. No, I, what do you think? You think we could take a human Z? No. Do you see its arm? I was it looking was at pretty, its, like, It was pretty deltoid. beefy. Yeah, that was, a, that was pretty, pretty ripped, for sure. Growler bear. Grizzly oh. bears and polar bears excuse, excuse you. to make, <laughs> you know. and the result is scary. Polar bear populations are in decline, so with a lack of available mates, they've begun breeding with grizzlies. On their own, each oh. bear is ferocious. Polar bears are the largest land carnivores weighing 1,600 pounds. Grizzly bears have sharp claws and are fast runners. Together, they make mm. an intense predator, but as sea ice melts, they're heading back inland and back to their roots. It seems oh. that growler bears are successfully hybridizing in Alaska and northern Canada. I just like its name, like a growler bear. Growler bear, bear. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, cute. it's hard to think of something called a growler bear yeah. as being menacing, but like, let's face it, it would absolutely annihilate us. It would us. just rip It would totally apart. destroy us. But dude, like bear cubs, holy crap. From about, you know, the born stages to like one year, those are some cute Oh, okay, I didn't know where you were going there. You were getting really like almost angry. Oh, very, it's just like that's how <laughs> they that's are. How cute they're really they cute. Are to but me. then don't go near them because then the mama's like, These, ah! yeah, like it will mess you up yeah. for sure. But did you hear what it said? It said polar bears like they're on decline and they're like so horny that they're like, are we allowed to say horny? I don't know. They just want to get it on, so they're yeah. mating with grizzly bears. That's literally what they said. I mean, like, close enough, I guess. Like, that's, like, I guess, like, we're that seems off, okay to me. We're killing off the polar bears. Yeah, yeah. Like, we need to mate with something. Gotta bang, dude. <laughs> that's like, what it gotta is, stay though. alive. That's literally what it is. Holy. Koi wolf. Coyote uh -oh. wolf. Coyotes and wolves have started breeding, and they're taking over the east coast of the United States and Canada. The koi wolf is the latest top predator stalking the east coast from Florida to Maine. They've been spotted in downtown Manhattan, which is pretty terrifying. While they have been spotted along the coast, there are also a lot of koi wolves north of the Great Lakes. The koi wolves live in small packs and weigh around 45 pounds. The concern with koi wolves is that they are predators who could go after smaller pets. They've been known to attack humans as well. This is actually so weird because literally yesterday, guys, I kid you not, yesterday, I was on the phone with my mother who was telling me she was driving down this road. It's like kind of in like, you know, rural areas. And she saw what she thought was a wolf, but she was like, it had like a coyote-esque tail. So maybe it was this. I, I don't know. You know, it's like that seems ridiculous to me. Like that would be the case. But they did just say north of the Great Lakes. So... It could be. I mean, it actually could be. I'm not sure, but I feel like I've seen something like that before in Me real too, life. But you know? also, they're kind of cute. They just look like doggies. Yeah, like they look <laughs> like, you know, like cute little dogs. You know, it's like, it's kind of like the coyote has cutified the wolf a little yes. bit. Because the wolf is like kind of menacing, but. Yeah. Hmm. Don't pet it, though. Did you know that enormous crocodiles can be burned as a result of breeding saltwater crocodiles and Siamese crocodiles, which often happens in captivity? One of the largest crocodiles known in captivity. Zhao Yai Whoa. is a crossbreed wow. and is a staggering 19 and a half feet long. Jesus. The beast was hatched in Thailand in 1972 and lives on a crocodile farm. The croc is one of the largest in captivity with close competition from Yutan, another scary Siamese sea crocodile hybrid reptile weighing 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds. Jeez, dude, this puts hey, like Gustav and that other thing to shame. Two no. Thousand pounds. This is a big boy. That is a lot of pounds. That's like, mo like wow, that is. That's a lot of pounds. That's a big ass boy. <laughs> it is. The Pacific Black Dragon. Oh. This creature got its name for a reason. Since most of its prey is bioluminescent, huh? its stomach is designed to prevent light from radiating through. It can easily sneak up on its prey without them even knowing. Mm. It actually looks like a black Ew. garden snake. Ew, I know. If you hate snakes, you'll yeah. want to That's steer gross. clear of this creature. It looks like 
a piranha mixed with a snake mixed with like a scorpion. You see his like little a, tail? Yeah, like a bit, but like some eel characteristics eel, in there as well. Eel, yes, you know, yeah. Like, but look yeah. at the sharp teeth too. It's just like, that was just like one amalgamation of grossness right there. Like, who's mating with who yeah. to make this thing? No, I don't want to look at that thing face no. to face. No, thank you. No. The chimera. What the? This creature <laughs> should not be confused with the chimera of Greek and mythology, and they're also known as sharks. Oh. While these creatures used to be found all over the ocean, today they are mostly confined to deep water. They have the body of a shark and the mouth of a crocodile. What? Luckily, they no longer come to the surface. What is with all this crocodile mutated know, animals like, going on here? Like these crocodiles are just They're like, getting carried away. Yeah, they're like they don't give a crap who's doing what. the turtles, what, it's going to be the you know? polar bears next. Yeah, it's just like, okay, like after it's like they had a few and it's just like, all right, who's around here, you know? God. The giant squid. Ah. The giant These squid was just a legend for a long time because it was rarely ever seen by humans. It lives deep below the waves, and its only predator is the sperm whale. The two are famous for their deadly fights beneath the sea, mm -hmm. and their carcasses can often be found bearing the marks of the battle. Mm -hmm. This is a creature that you would not want to run into yeah. underwater. No, I like to run into that creature at the pub, <laughs> deep fried and uh, <gasps> with a little bit of, uh, you know, like some dipping dip sauce. sauce. Yeah, some yeah. Matcha mayo that's going that's on. what I like to run into that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> the frilled shark. Oh, I've seen these guys. This is a shark that is rarely seen and lives in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Scientists believe that when Blech. this shark stalks its Blech. prey, it bends its body like a snake. Ew. When it's close Ew. enough, it swallows its victim whole. Thankfully, humans are not close enough in the water to become nice. its prey. Nice. Yeah. No. Don't want it. I hate it. Nope. I hate its face. I hate its I, body. Yeah, I, like I hate it. everything about it. It looks like an intestine that's like gained livingness. Yeah. Grow away. No thanks. Not for we me. don't like those creatures. Nah. Okay guys, so those were a bunch of scary animals that you just <laughs> do not want to run face to face with. I like to call animals Annie Pals because typically they are my pals. Oh. These are not that though. No. These are definitely not that. I don't want anything to do with these, man. Me neither. Mm -hmm. That's terrifying. If you like this video and you want to see part two, then let us know in the comments below. And obviously, smash that like button. Absolutely. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. I've been your host, Nicholas Paul. Lay along and we'll catch you next time. See you when I see ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's your scary animal thing. Yeah, scary animals you do not want to come face to face with. A bear. Oh boy. A tiger. <laughs> what do you what do you think uh, like oh. how, how many of these do you think are going to be real? I think it's going to be like a good old half and half. Half and half. Okay, half yeah, that's a big that's that's a good line. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Gustav. <laughs> nice. Oh, I hate is that a snake? I don't oh, think it's an alligator so. again. Yeah. Oh, I hate snakes though. But, but also, oh, I'm laughing at this one. <laughs> what the hell is this, man? Sasquatch what the eight? Shresh, what have you done? <laughs> this to is us? a cryptid. This <laughs> is okay. Let's see. Ew. I don't know what this is. An anglerfish? I don't know. What was this video? I don't even know. Scary creatures. Uh, this was a. Uh